Hey, this is Mike Harris with Next Home Orange Premier Realty here in the Villages area and surrounding areas. Right now I'm at 32720 Westwood Loop in Leesburg, Florida. We're at Pembroke Fairways. This is the house that we were talking about. I'm going to go ahead and walk around the outside first and then go ahead and show you the inside. Actually, the community, when we look around, it's a beautiful little community. Just doing a full circle right here in the middle of the road. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the outside. Looks like it's well maintained. Looks like it's a wood frame with a it has the vinyl siding on it. We saw that the AC wasn't done too terribly long ago, I believe. I'll look that up for you. HVAC replaced in 2018. So, yeah. So, we'll walk around. No real cracks like we were talking about uh, to have to worry about because we're uh, blocking stucco here. Or it's not blocking stucco. Um, it actually has the uh, the vinyl siding. The roof was just done not too long ago also. I think it was 2018 is what it said in the paperwork too. Nice little area to put your grill right here still have a screened in area for the evening time so you don't deal with mosquitoes anything like that and we go out the outside actually everything looks really good I've already done a quick walkthrough just a few minor little blemish things that are really easy with paint or things like that Okay, got a flagpole. Okay, so walking in. Let me put this up. Got a little area here that you could put like a little chair and sit out here. Let my camera adjust. Nice floors. Oh, pardon me. Tile, when you first walk in, tile goes into the kitchen over here. So as I'm walking in to the immediate right, I'll back up. We have the kitchen, counters are really nice. little area as far as for eating feels like granite slow closed drawers so soft clothes that's nice little bar area here Okay, so again, at the front door, when you walk in, when you're past this area that we just went into, the kitchen, we're going to go into the living space. So, volume ceiling, so we have the higher ceiling, so that's nice, doesn't feel so closed in. Plenty of wall space right there to do a big entertainment and still be able to do kind of what they have here as far as couches. It also goes straight into a double slide door into where we're at outside looking in. Here is the screened in area. I see everybody do this on these guys. It's a cheap fix, but they always put the indoor uh, 
one of these because they're cheaper the ceiling fans outside and after a few years they do that uh, little bow thing you just either get new uh, blades or personally I would put the correct one up there it's about a hundred bucks it's not a big deal I don't see any cracks and it looks like this at one time I don't know if you can tell they, there was just a little light here and they decided to put in this uh, ceiling fan probably just for, to bring some air in but um, again I would just have the correct one put up there and you'd be fine so it doesn't do that little bowy thing okay actually everything in here unless you just don't like the color and want to paint there's a few little blemishes that I notice which is normal for the Florida homes like you'll see like little stuff like that which is easy I mean that's just where the tape was uh, it's 97 2007 2000 so you're 20 uh, over 20 years old so you're gonna have the little where the tape sections are starting to do that kind of stuff that's e easy easy stuff so don't worry about that kind of thing I know handymen that do that kind of stuff easy the things that I look at is it does not have popcorn which is a pain in the butt to get rid of so it has a knockdown ceilings now this year they would have probably done popcorn popcorn ceiling so I would imagine they paid to have that or have the knockdown ceilings done it's hard to tell but you can kind of tell in the picture so that's a plus big plus okay so we're gonna come turn right and your bedrooms are over here this little hallway when I turn again there's one bedroom which is the second be bedroom and when I turn left is the master the master is actually a pretty good size so let me turn this you actually have your sliders to go out there and sit down too or get some fresh air in here I'm just giving you a full turnaround still no major cracks anything I don't see anything actually I mean other than a paint job and a few things to, to deal with some mud before the paint job uh, on those little areas that I just showed you that's it actually looks really good for the price honestly this one will go of course uh, pretty good size closet I mean you got your two hanger areas over here one on this side for longer stuff um, light in here this is about the only place I see the only room in the house that has carpet is the bedroom this this bedroom particularly so keep that in mind because the other one they went all the way in so you could actually find the right type and extend that if you wanted to or just replace carpet or have it cleaned really good um, but the carpet doesn't look terrible it just needs a, a good cleaning um, but it actually I'm actually impressed for the price it's I mean they have granite in here you can tell that they upgraded the bath putting new cabinets in you got your shower in the master sliding glass door on it again you could do whatever you'd like here you could turn it into and have someone come in and do a whole custom job if you want because these are easy to rip out or just leave it the way it is either way it works plenty of space in here I'll show you this tons of space for all the linens now of course you have the toilet and everything it does have a pocket door so that way you can close it off and it's not right next to your or you're going pee right next to the bed or any of that kind of stuff you don't want to have to deal with that so at least you got the pocket door there 
Okay. I told you this wasn't going to be a professional one, but it's going to at least be show you everything. Okay, the next one is the other bath, which is the one with the tub. This one has the normal, uh, probably what came with it, counters. They probably didn't use this one much. I know the tub doesn't look like they did at all. Maybe a little bit of fixture up, upgrades or something like that if you wanted to, but I don't see any issues. No leaks. Usually I'll look here and see if there's leaks. I didn't see any on the other one either. The tub doesn't look hardly used. So it was probably something that they didn't use much or maybe only with guests. So we're good here. Uh, there's another small closet. Pardon the stuff. Okay, the second bedroom. Same ceilings. Enough room to fit two twins easily for guests or turn it into an office. Now, their idea, what because uh, I did a walkthrough before I took the her to started taking this video, is in the closet, they actually turned the closet into their office and it looks like they had a plug put in there so you didn't have to have extension cords so that's actually really nice so you could also do this kind of idea too if you wanted to still have a little office but also have guests you could another idea would be have your office and do a murphy bed so that works out it's actually a really good idea I always see people run extension cords. I never see people spend the money to do something so simple and put a plug. So that's actually pretty. And even if you use this as a closet, having a plug in there is still kind of nice. It's not a huge home, so this is pretty quick. But it is a nice home. I'm not seeing any major or even minor real things going on. I'm turning off lights while I'm walking through. Sorry about that. So back into the living room. Of course, if you've been to any of these communities around the villages or um, like this one's not too far from the villages at all, um, the farthest south side of the villages, um, this community is really close. So you can actually go to uh, Brownwood, which is in, uh, is one of the squares for the villages, and still hang out, still listen to live music. Uh, the music and all that kind of stuff is done by the county and paid for partially by the county. So it is public access when it comes to all three squares for the villages. So things to do around here, you actually can still go and meet people from there but not deal with the 150,000 people in the villages or the traffic that has to do with that. So that's one thing I do like about these little communities outside. This one's really pretty coming in. You'll see some older stuff. You can tell it's been here a while. You'll see some older um, manufactured homes that are still looked very well kept. But um, when we got back here, it, it turned into the non-mobile. So this is probably the newer section um, of this. Now I'm going to go into the garage. I have not been in here yet or turned on the lights. So there's stuff in here. This is what they consider a one and a half car garage. For me, it's a one car garage with a golf cart is what, or, or just having a bunch of space to park because, and some storage. So, that's pretty much how I look at it. You have your laundry here. Again, they moved everything out of there to make that side look good. The garage or the garages always look a little beat up and had everything thrown in it. So we got that. It looks like there is some access up there. 
just a little pull down access or not pull down but uh, move over access um, when we do the inspection of course they'll check all this stuff if there's anything wrong we just put in or submit um, it's cool in here so I know the AC is working because it's a warm day outside right now but um, we do an inspection and if there's anything going on then we go ahead and take care of or put in a request to have certain things fixed and, and so forth so that's basically it this is the garage still plenty of room to put stuff and to drive in and of course still do laundry over here but that's basically it again it's mike harris next home orange premier realty um, i'll go ahead and get this uploaded and sent out so you can see it and we'll go ahead and talk soon. You have a good one and have talk to you later.